How many of you would like to know by just doing a blood test whether you have any chance of probably getting heart disease or blood pressure issues? This is Dr. Lenny DeCosta, a genetic physician by profession, a functional medicine expert, and the author of the upcoming book, Is Your Doctor Keeping You Sick? My dear friends, today I'm going to share with you three tests that I get my patients do to ensure that they do not become heart patients or suffer from any blood pressure issues. And the three tests are these. Number one, lipoprotein delay. This is a test that you can do in any lab. It's called lipoprotein little a or lipoprotein small a. The result should not be above the upper reference range of 30 and in some cases in certain labs 60. So always keep it within the reference range. A figure above the reference range indicates that you have a chance of plaque formation and it is a tendency that your body will keep forming those plaques because your lipoprotein little a is high. There is a lot of history as to why this lipoprotein A is in our bodies and that I shall keep for another day. The second test that you need to do is homocysteine. Again, homocysteine is a test that you can do in any lab. It gives us a fair indication of how your methylation cycle is working. If your homocysteine levels are high, there is a methylation defect. This leads to a lot of problems because there is decreased glutathione synthesis and glu decreased glutathione synthesis leads to cell death. So low, high homocysteine levels indicates that you can be having heart disease and you will be having heart disease or cardiovascular disease as they call it or cerebral vascular disease which includes stroke. So high homocysteine levels do is, is, a, is a risk marker for heart disease as well as stroke. And finally, HSCRP. This is high sensitivity C-reactive protein. And what does this tell us? It tells us that there is a lot of inflammation present in your arteries. And today, it is well known with so much of data coming out that high inflammation leads to heart disease, to stroke, to cardiac arrest, to plaque formation, to high BP problems, to diabetes and uncontrolled diabetes, and even to cancer. So HSCRP levels should be below three. There should be no inflammation in your body. So if any of these three tests are above the limit that they're supposed to be, you need to see your doctor and preferably somebody who understands how they can reverse this by using the techniques of functional medicine. My dear friends, this is Dr. Lenny DeCosta signing off. If you liked this video, please share it. Do give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Do put a comment in the comment box. Wishing you all the best, happy living, and see you next time in my next video. Bye for now.